front of me I have some of the relics that I've found recently and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about how to clean them when you first find them because that's the important time when you first take it out of the ground you got to be very careful and not over clean it because once you clean it too much you can never go back a good example would be a colonial copper these copper coins are they're they're not fragile but you have to be careful when you clean them because if you if you if you do too much to them you'll lose the detail and you'll never get the detail back what I like to do is when they're wet is go ahead and just take your fingernail which is very soft some people will use a toothpick or a little twig and just kind of scratch on it get the mud off just like that as much as you can and then just rub it with your finger and this is only copper now you know the copper or brass items you can just rub it and get the dirt off get it nice and clean get rid of all the little grains of sand and gravel and just kind of rub on it with your fingers like that and you'll start to see the detail now if it's a really good strike on the coin where things are raised up well you can be a little more aggressive with it but many of the coins that you find these old copper coins will be very faint not a lot of detail so you just want to kind of keep rubbing it with your finger let it dry off rub it some more um, one thing I would highly recommend you never do is to immediately put water on a lot of people want to put water on and get the toothbrush and scrub it and uh, a coin that doesn't have much detail you may lose any detail that it had forever okay you can put water on and scrub it all you want but, but start first with the easy stuff just get the top layer off rub it let it dry out maybe you rub it some more um, light light coating of oil just some oil that you might even have on your body just take a little bit of oil from your face maybe light coating at that point you've done nothing to hurt it you can do more if you want to you can get a home when you can do your soap and water and toothbrush but at least you know that you cleaned it properly and that you can maybe read it um, with that light cleaning water i think personally destroys these coins unless it's a very very good strike now i'm going to tell you something it's going to freak some people out especially coin guys if you have a coin that you scratched you know with your finger and your little toothpick and you cleaned it and there's nothing on it you're taking water and you brushed it and there's nothing on it you can actually take these coins and be very aggressive with them like get a brillo pad like you might use to clean dishes Put some soap on it, just soap, hot water, and really, really rub it. Kind of shine it up a little bit. And a lot of times you can see what it is at least. I mean, you may not ever read the date, but you can get the outline, an outline that you would never see if you didn't do that. Now, people say it ruins the coins, but a plain flat disc that you can't, you don't even know what it is, of what value is that to, to you or to anyone? You can't even tell what it is. So, Brillo Fat is really the last the last step you could possibly take no water that's my advice is keep it away from water other things uh, can be much easier for example when you find lead that's been in the ground usually has a white patina on it like this is a bullet um, you know I you can use a toothbrush maybe some soapy water and clean it up just not too much you want to keep it with a good patina on it once you take that patina off it just becomes less pretty so a little soapy water and toothbrush maybe if it has a you know the conical base like that you can get a toothpick clean it up gently other things you might find are pewter i wish i had a pewter button to show you but i don't but i got a pewter spoon pewter is that's a hard beast because it tends to want to crumble when it dries out i don't even have a great answer for how to protect pewter other than you know, keeping it moist when it's in the field and as it dries out clean it gently uh, but you might see that it's starting to flake on the edges and fall apart when it does that there's almost no nothing you can do other than maybe coating it with um, some type of, of acrylic thing that uh, you know you can put on there and it hardens up and keeps it together but in the beginning I just again just use something dry I wouldn't necessarily put in water and just brush it a little bit let it dry out and see what you have iron when you find an iron object normally they're pretty solid so you can just kind of tap it with something maybe a rock or a relic or something just knock off the big stuff maybe you can brush it if you want to take some water i mean it's been exposed to water its entire life in the ground so you can brush it 
If it starts to, you know, flake a little bit, you can put compounds on like rust converters and that just makes the surface nice and hard and keeps it from falling apart more. You can also do electrolysis. It's a little more complicated, uh, but that's another process you can do to clean iron. Another thing you might find would be silver coins, like this little dime right here. You gotta be a little bit careful with silver because it's much softer than like the copper or the brass. So your first instinct is to pull it out of the ground and scratch it off and rub the dirt off of it like I was telling you to do with the copper coins, but don't do that with silver. Uh, if there's little grains of sand on there and you rub it with your thumb, you're gonna have little minute scratches going across the surface. There's really nothing you can do about it once that happens. I would recommend being very gentle with it. You know, you can knock the big pieces off, but you wanna get it at home, maybe get it soaked in some water, loosen that stuff up, and just be very gentle when you clean the surface so that you're not scratching at those little tiny grains of sand. Same thing goes for gold coins if you find gold coins, except you have to be even more careful because gold is much softer. If you take a little gold coin and go like that when there's dirt on it, you're gonna ruin the coin. Or at least you're gonna put some pretty serious scratches on that coin that you can never take back. And when you make that really good find, you wanna make sure you take care of it immediately and get it in something where it's not going to be jostled or scratched so i highly recommend you get some type of little box like this that might have uh, a place where you can take things you can put it in between some foam so it doesn't jostle around or even if you just have a container like this uh, this is actually an old snuff can you can find them just laying around uh, put in there and put some dirt inside nice moist dirt so that you know you could have they had a, like a military button that was two or three piece it goes in there it can't like just shake around like popcorn or anything because you don't want that because it can actually disintegrate by just hitting the walls of that or if you put it in your pocket the same thing so make sure you have a good sturdy container for your better finds if it doesn't have little com little compartments or little uh, soft things like this you know, put some dirt some good clean dirt in there and that'll help preserve your finds and it'll help protect it until you can get home and get them cleaned up properly so those are just a few tips on what to do with the artifacts when you first get them out of the ground i highly recommend that you talk to some of the people that have been in this hobby a while that have made the mistakes learn from them go online read some books get that information in your head so that you know what to do when you find those artifacts and preserve them properly for history.